black soldier fly farming is revolutionary. It is revolutionary because it allows us to reduce our reliance on fish and soya meal in the production of animal feed. The BSF larvae is so promising as an alternative source of protein that these two Kenyan companies, Insectipro and Ecodudu, secured close to a million dollar funding each to finance their operations. And as you all know, the high cost of feed is one of the biggest challenges that the poultry industry faces in Africa. So when I decided to invest in poultry farming in my home country of Burkina Faso, I also decided to rear a colony of black soldier flies to produce protein-rich larvae. I watched countless videos on YouTube of farmers around the world, from Indonesia to Kenya, rearing black soldier flies to produce larvae for their livestock. Many of them generously shared their knowledge on how to start, how to attract the flies to build a colony, and how to feed the larvae, etc. In a nutshell, the flies are kept in a cage called the love cage, in which we place an attracting made of rotten fruits, fermented rice bran, and cow dung. The attractant attracts the female flies to lay eggs on these things called eggies. We collect the eggies and place them on corn or rice bran to hatch the eggs. After hatching, the baby larvae are fed organic ways and raised for about two weeks. At two weeks, the larva is at its peak protein content, so we harvest a portion to feed them directly to the chicken or mix them with our feed. The remaining portion is kept to perpetuate the colony. These larvae will pupate and emerge as flies after a few days. Then they will lay eggs and the process starts over. The entire cycle from eggs to flies takes about 30 to 35 days. So to get started, I ordered a greenhouse from China and set it up on the farm. And I had a lot of cage and shelves made by a local welder. We bought used 20 liter water bottles and cut them in half to use as rarium buckets for the larvae. We collect organic waste from a local market that is situated at about five kilometers from the farm. The organic waste from the market consists of discarded and rotten fruits and vegetables, as well as fish intestines. We also collect cow manure from a neighboring farm. Currently, we are producing about 10 to 15 kilograms of fresh larvae a day but the goal is to produce at least 100 kilograms of fresh larvae daily by January 2023. Once we satisfy our own demand, we'll sell the excess larvae to other poultry farmers. In addition, the larva feces, which is called frass, is an excellent organic fertilizer. We'll use a portion of the frass in our vegetable farm and sell the remaining portion to other vegetable farmers. Again, this has been a learning journey, and I'm more than happy that we decided to venture into black soldier fly farming. And I look forward to sharing more updates with you towards the end of the year. So subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of our updates from the farm. So long and see you in the next video.